Hi, kindergartners. Today, we are going to talk about being assertive. That's a big word. What does that mean? Well, I am going to show you about this girl. Then we are going to watch a little bit about what our friends might do about being a snail. And then we are going to practice. So this is Lucy. And Lucy is at the library and she's looking for books about dinosaurs. She knows there is one somewhere, but she can't find it. And the teacher is busy helping other kids. What should Lucy do? Should she sit there? not say anything? Should she cry? There's something she could do. Hmm. I bet you can think of one. Anybody think of raise your hand? Yes, that's a great one. Because that way the teacher knows you need help. Now teachers are very Sometimes we do not see your hand. Our parents busy too. Yeah. So in a polite way, sometimes you can remind the teacher that you are waiting to be helped. Like you could say, excuse me, teacher, Mrs. Hunziker, Mrs. Wallstrand, Ms. Kazak, or if it's your mom or dad, mom, dad, in a second I need some help. When you get a second, when you get a chance, those are things you can say that are polite. Or keep your hand raised. Maybe walk over to the teacher and wait. Don't interrupt, just wait for them. Those are some tips about what you could do. If you sit there, just like Lucy, are you gonna get any help? Maybe not. Maybe the teacher will notice that Lucy has a problem, but maybe not. So it's important that you be assertive. That means let somebody know you have a problem or you need something. Teachers and parents love to help, but we don't know if there's, if we don't know there's a problem, how can we help you? If you're being assertive though, we know you have a problem and then we can help you solve it. Sometimes we might say, did you try? Did you look? We might. And then if you say, yes, I did, I tried, I looked, then we can maybe help you or point you in the right direction. Let's watch about what snail does and what puppy tells snail to do. Oh no, oh no. What's wrong, snail? Whoa, I'm supposed to do my work, but I don't have a pencil. I can't find mine. Oh, oh. It's okay, Snail. You need to say something, though, or you won't be able to get your work done. I don't know how to tell the teacher. I tried, but she wasn't listening. Oh. Well. You have to raise your hand. Make sure you raise your hand, and that way she knows you have a problem. Oh, I guess I could raise my hand. Okay, so now that you saw what Puppy and Snail did, I want you to practice that you also don't have a pencil. Maybe it fell, maybe it broke, and you're supposed to do your work, but you can't. You try. Can I have a pencil, please? Or, I lost my pencil. Can you help me? Awesome job, kindergartners. You got this. Happy learning and make sure that you are being assertive.